coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Thursday morning. As you step outside this morning, you may find a little frost on your windshield because temperatures have dipped down into the 30s across most of the Wabash Valley. So you may need a little quick scrape before you get your morning commute started. As you look from the ISU tower cam this morning, it's a quiet start to the day. Otherwise, a nice clear sky. But that's allowed those temperatures to fall. We're down to 32 here in Terre Haute. Feels like 32. We just have a light breeze out of the east northeast. But notice the dew point is also at 32. So when you have temperature and your dew point close together and a relatively calm wind that could lead to some areas of patchy fog. So you might find that out on the roads this morning as well. Elsewhere, we're seeing temperatures again in the 30s for most 40 right now in Casey. They're the only one out of the 30s, 35 right now in Washington, 36 in Mattoon and in Brazil, 34 in Sullivan, 31 for Robinson, and it's currently 38 in Lagodi and Olney. So the temperature trend over the next five days today is still going to be cool, even though we're going to see plenty of sunshine. High is only going to be topping out in the upper 50s for us. That's just shy of our average average for this time of year is 62. Now tomorrow is going to be a little more seasonable. We'll see temperatures climb back into the middle 60s and then on Saturday it's looking pretty good. We'll see highs climbing into the upper 60s, pushing the 70 degree mark in a few spots, especially farther to the south. But as we finish up the weekend, we're going to have a new system come in that's going to cool off our temperatures and also bring the chance for some rain. But as for today, I'm going to stay nice and dry with that sunshine. Again, a chilly start to the day, but we get into the afternoon, not really expecting any weather concerns. The wind's going to be lighter than it has been the past few days, so we're just going to have a light breeze out of the east. And as we get into the afternoon, we are going to start to notice some cloud cover build in. We'll stop Futurecast at 6 o'clock tonight and see some of those clouds starting to stream across the region. And that's going to continue to build in. So through the overnight hours, we're going to go with a mostly cloudy sky. However, that's going to help temperatures from falling quite so low tomorrow morning as they are this morning. We'll only be into the upper 30s, so still chilly to start Friday. We could see some clouds to at least start off our Friday, but as we get into the afternoon, those clouds will move out, so we'll get more sunshine back as we finish up the day tomorrow. And then we'll see that sunshine continuing into the start of the weekend. So so look ahead to Halloween again Saturday looking really nice 68 degrees and then on Sunday here comes that system that could bring some scattered showers. So if you're doing any trick or treating on Sunday for the weekend that may be a little more soggy. Now we do have a chance rain in the forecast for Halloween itself but right now it's looking like this is mostly going to be in the morning and we should catch some drier hours by the time we get closer to trick or treating. So we'll hope that forecast holds true. Temperature wise we're going to be in the 60s so still pretty mild compared to what it has been for some Halloweens. Before today 58 degrees mostly sunny with that cool breeze out of the east. Tonight, those clouds come in 38 degrees for the low, and we'll still have that chilly breeze. And as we get into tomorrow, a little more seasonable, mostly sunny still with highs climbing into the middle 60s. And the seven day forecast shows that warm up going into the weekend, cooling off for Halloween. But then past Halloween, temperatures climb back into the upper 60s on Tuesday and near 70 next Wednesday.